Hey guys, I'll be back in another video and welcome to London, England. This is my apartment. It's pretty dope. Yep, it's my new journey here, guys. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna go on some vlog there, and it's gonna be amazing. So, right now, I wanna talk to you guys about something that happened between the Ace family and an ex team 10 member that exposed them, told them that uh, Austin McBroom basically did some bad things to girls. Him and his father and their friend and back in Miami. Telling them a lot of bad things. And, I, and, I, and I'm going to show you a clip of what the, the, um, the ex-team 10 member. I forgot his name. I think it was Caddy Connie, something like that. But anyway, um, this is what he said. We hung up. I talked to her and I just told her really how much she would be helping other girls. And not only herself and getting justice for herself, but helping other people in the future from this happening. I, I kind of convinced her to talk to him. Whenever I did, he kind of went ghost. And at this point, I just thought that maybe he had gotten everything that he needed. So in the morning, everything would be cleared and the truth would be out and we wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. So we kind of just stayed low because we, we saw a bunch of tweets about people already knowing that he was uploading a video the next day about the situation. So we kind of were just like, not worried and we were just gonna kind of let it unfold that way so we didn't have to insert ourselves where it wasn't needed the next day came and he didn't tweet anything he didn't upload anything so i texted him saying how much did they pay you to keep quiet and he responded with this and i was completely shocked i immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off five hundred thousand dollars to keep quiet about the situation and that I needed to come forward. Obviously she was really hesitant about this because that would lead to more information about her being put out there. If she didn't want to do this, she didn't have to and I wanted to make her feel as comfortable as possible, but she agreed that the truth needed to come out and if this happened before, Austin will do it again. Side note, the reason why I am filming this for my friends is because just like every other girl that this has happened to, they're afraid to come forward. And I would be too if I was a victim in this type of situation. It can be really scary dealing with somebody with such power. And I think that's the main reason why a lot of people haven't come forward because they're afraid of not being heard or getting shut down or even getting a lawsuit in the mail because that's the type of person that Austin is. And if you sign an illegal NDA, that's definitely something that he would pursue in, but from my personal experience with Team 10 and NDAs and contracts and getting sued, when it comes to a crime like rape, NDAs don't fucking matter. But I'm respecting my friend's wishes because she is too ashamed and embarrassed that she doesn't want to show her face and admit that on camera to millions of people to see. And that's why I'm here to do that for her because there is no way that I can go move on knowing that this shit is happening behind closed doors with a father of two. It's just, it, it blows my mind. With that being said, I'm just not gonna hold back at all. My friend sent me every screenshot and receipt that I need. It's in your hands to decide what you want to do with that. One of my friends was texting back and forth with Austin about their trip to Miami and what girls that she should bring with her for him. I'm gonna put up the screenshots right here of her sending pictures of the girl to Austin and him replying with that. Here's another one. Here is another one. So after the girls were approved, I guess, after he swiped right and left, like this is Tinder, um, here is the next message of them talking about the address and if she had packed, yada, 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 talking about the private jet. So now I'm gonna also insert a screenshot between my friend and Austin's assistant of her saying that they are here and a link from for the yacht that they were on. And then here's also a screenshot of the link that was sent so you guys know it was for a yacht. Okay, so now fast forward two days later, June 22nd, when they are on the yacht, whenever everybody's drinking, having a good time. I'm also gonna insert a picture right here of Austin and his dad together at Live the night before this happened, so you guys have proof that the dad was there on the trip. After they all had been drinking, my two friends went back to their room to go change because the sun was setting and that's when Austin, the security guard, the father, and 
two other guys came into their room. Obviously, I don't have recordings of went down in the room, but my friend told me that she repeatedly said no multiple times over and over and over to the point where she started crying, begging them to stop. That's when they forced themselves in her, and I will insert the photos of the blood all over the bed sheets in the hotel room right here on the exact same date, June 22nd. Now, after this had happened to them, obviously they're fucking traumatized, so they hide out in their room for hours. This screenshot is gonna be one of Austin McBroom's friends texting them. You heard here, people, what the ex -team, member, team team member said about Austin McBroom from the Ace family when he did those cool, those rape allegations, basically, where he attacked girls and all that stuff uh, in Miami um, back in June with his father and some guy, our friend of theirs, basically did some bad things I cannot even describe. Yeah, so pretty much. The yeah, Andy's family is just messed up, all right? I know this video is a bit, like... I know the last video that I... I know the show... <clears throat> sorry. I know that right now what I showed you right now is a bit longer than what I, I'm talking, but it's just what I'm talking to everybody. All right, guys. That's all. Take care and peace.